welcome back for another video. The previous bag for 2022-23. Been looking forward to bringing this one back and I know a lot of you have been asking for it. This is a weekly series that covers key information every game week to ensure you arrive at better decisions. Goal scorer odds, clean sheet odds, transfer trends, captaincy poll and more. Right before we jump in, today's video has been sponsored by Pouch, which is a free desktop browser extension that automatically finds and applies the best discount codes when you're shopping online. It's one of those few browser extensions that are absolute no-brainers to have installed, trusted by over 200,000 users. They've supported the channel since we were small and it's great to have them back. I actually used Pouch for the last football boots I bought. I was shopping on the Adidas website and when I got to checkout it pops up and it suggests a discount code to try. It automatically tries the codes and it saved me about £25 on the order. Pouch works on over 3,000 UK sites, which is more than any other similar add-ons. I shop at ASOS, eBay and Adidas, all three of which are covered. They've also got pouch points. The way they work is while you shop online, you earn points, which can be redeemed for gift cards for sites like Amazon. Even though there's no discounts available, you can still earn points. It takes just a couple of clicks to install and make sure it's pinned to your browser. A huge thank you to Pouch for supporting the channel again, and you can support the channel too by getting it for free right now at joinpouch.com forward slash i forward slash vocal. Click the link at the top of the description. Starting off with the goal scorer odds, Kane and Haaland joint top with a 55% chance of scoring any time. Spurs host Wolves who have conceded three big chances in their opening two and yet to keep a clean sheet. Newcastle have been solid defensively, their 1.7 expected goals conceded is 6th best in the league but they face one of their toughest fixtures of the season against an informed City. Despite his gimmick two blank, Salah will perhaps be the most popular captain pick facing Man United who are rock bottom in the league and they have considered the joint most goals. Fulham host Brentford this game week and Mitrovic has been given a 43% chance of scoring. Him and Tony look the best mid price forwards currently. Jesus could give Salah a run for his money as the most popular captain. 2.3 million managers were burned by Nunez's red card and following Jesus' 19 pointer there has been a mass migration to the Brazilian and he's now over 77% ownership. We could see a couple of players over 100% effective ownership again after factoring in the captaincy, which basically means if you don't have them as captain you'll actually prefer them to blank as you'll lose rank for every point they gain. Saka makes the top 10 with a 34% chance against Bournemouth. He's due a return and one to hold if you've still got him. The points will come when you look at Arsenal's next few fixtures. Onto the clean sheet odds courtesy of Check the Chance and Tottenham atop this game week with a 49.5% chance of shutting Wolves out. Spurs are actually yet to keep a clean sheet, but they faced Chelsea last game week. Perisic has become a big dilemma as his minutes are still very unclear. Sessegnon started the first two, though Perisic did get the crucial assist for Kane's equaliser after coming on last game. The best hope is to keep an eye on Conte's press conference for any indication, otherwise it may be time to sell. Arsenal are second on the clean sheet odds and I'm eyeing up a transfer for Saliba or Gabriel myself. Bournemouth are rock bottom for expected goals this season with 0.72 xG. Their 10 shots is 7 fewer than any other team and just one big chance. They did of course face Man City in game week 2 but they're good numbers if you're on the Arsenal defence and certainly worth consideration if you're looking to shift the likes of Dina or Trippier on. Man City have a 42.5% chance for their away trip to Newcastle. Cancela is the Rolls Royce pick, always stands a chance of an attacking return in any given fixture. Diaz and Ake are the lower ceiling picks. Ake okay, probably looks next likeliest for an attacking return after Cancelo, and Walker for 5.1 mil offers very little in attack but is a cheap route into their defence. Everton have a 37.5% chance, the only name that leaps out to me is 4 mil Patterson who has continued to start since Commons returned from injury and they host Nottingham Forest this game week. Liverpool have a 36% chance of a clean sheet against Man United, many managers are doubled up on Trent and Robertson which has started slowly. James and Cancelo perhaps the ideal replacements for Robertson if you're looking to shift him on. Brentford and Brighton both have a 25% chance of a clean sheet and both sides have an impressive run of games ahead for the foreseeable future. Tons of value in their defences and goalkeepers, the likes of Dunk, Me, Sanchez, Raya and Henry. Nico Williams was phenomenal in Forrest's last match so it's not the end of the world if you're forced to start in this game week. He took 4 shots and created a couple of big chances. Rock bottom this game meets Newcastle and Wolves who have been given a 5% chance of a clean sheet against Spurs and Man City respectively. Onto the game week 3 predicted points across all positions courtesy of FPL Review and it's Salah top this game week with 7.2 points. I'm hoping that Firmino is back and available for game week 3. On reflection Nunez's 3 match suspension may play into Salah's hands as the primary source of goals, Firmino always the creator in that Liverpool front 3. This may also benefit Diaz who certainly looks even more nailed over the next 3. 
Let's also separate Kane and Son with 6.7 and 6.5 predicted points. If you've got either, you certainly keep hold. Tottenham's next four are Wolves, Forest, West Ham and Fulham. Mark my words, there's going to be some huge returns from the duo over that run. Holland and Jesus are in the top 5 too and great candidates for the armband. At the end of the video we will take a look at the captain poll results to see how you're all fair in this game week. And if this video has been useful so far, consider subscribing, we're closing in on 100k. Taking a look at the market next, and here's the most popular transfers, Martinelli top with over 800,000 picking him up. He scored 2-2, two and, two, and even more impressively in just 3 shots. This does suggest the returns aren't sustainable without an increase in shot volume, but nonetheless he's an excellent pick for 6.2 mil. Rodrigo is the second most popular transfer. I feel that this one can probably wait a week as Leeds face Chelsea, followed by better fixtures game week 4 onwards. Jesus has obliterated the record for player ownership now with over 77% owning him. The downside is that any returns from the Brazilian minimise impact on your rank. If anything, this game you could actually drop rank from every point he gets unless he's your captain. The same could be likely for Salah. De Silva's another player with 2-2, two two. those underlying numbers are far worse than Martinelli's, scoring twice from 0.07 xG. 4.7 is a great price though and he's not a bad Bailey replacement for the bench. Brentford's next five are Fulham, Everton, Palace, Leeds and Southampton, so Tony's one worth considering as well, who has returned in his first two games. Kulisevsky is an under the radar pick and I expect him to do very well in the coming weeks too, if you have got slot for him. Spurs have arguably the best front three in the league and he was so consistent last season, no reason why this doesn't continue, particularly with the kind fixtures. Onto the most transferred out and no surprises, it's Darwin's top who's suspended for three games following the red card against Crystal Palace. It's a must sell this game week. We saw Martinelli top on the most transferred in and he looks like an ideal replacement for Rashford and Sancho who are being heavily dropped. Trent's a surprising name to see here with over 200,000 sales and you feel the returns will come. After Man United they have back to back home games followed by Everton and then another home game against Wolves. Sun is also a surprise name among the top 10. As we saw, he's in the top 3 for projected points this game week. Bailey's a very awkward price point as far as finding replacements. Unless we get any early news that he starts, then he's one to bench or sell. Starting Andreas or Nico Williams isn't the worst temporary solution. In a nutshell, the 5 mil defenders offer far more than the 5 or even 5.5 mil midfielders, so a shift to a back 5 could be the way to go if you're not already. This early in the season it's always a case of soaking up as much information as possible and discovering where to go next. Perhaps after game week 3 we have a clearer picture of who the best 5.5mm midfielder is. Eze is just 1.3% owned and he's actually my favourite at the moment as a Neto or Bailey replacement, but I'm giving him a couple of game weeks first. A couple of game weeks first. We'll finish the preview with the captain poll results. Thank you to everyone who voted on the poll on the Discord. If you'd like to join we're just past 10,000 members and the link's in the description. Salah tops the poll with 56.2% of the vote. No surprises and he's my captain too. 29.8% have voted for Jesus who's now the top scorer forward in the game off the back of his 19 pointer. It's Haaland 3rd with 5.3%, Kane 4th with 3.8% followed by Son and De Bruyne. That wraps up this episode of the preview, thank you for watching. A big thank you again to Pouch for their support. It's completely free so click the link in the description to try it out. We're closing in fast on 100k subscribers, so help us get there if you're enjoying the content. I'll read every comment, so drop one below, I'm keen to hear your thoughts. In the final video before the deadline, we'll catch up with the experts to see what they're up to for Game Week 3. See you soon for the next one.